Welcome back. On this lecture, I will show you how you can restore file if you deleted it mistakenly or did some mess inside the file and just want to restore the previous version. Basically, roll back. <laughs> and also how to show difference between what you edit and the previous commit. Yeah, let's get started. We're in our git repository. Let's edit a uh, file number two. First, uh, git status nano file number two. I'm going to edit yeah this is new line in my source code this is another new line in my source code created by me let's put some copy left yeah I just edit a lot of this stuff interesting okay git status Good. git add git commit big updates yeah i did big updates git status oops git status all clean all good now i'm going to edit this file again nano file i just need to fix some issue over there yeah and you know i'm updating because it's a long file so just you know and i save it so please i updated this i I messed it. It just, I just, I, I broke it basically. I just, mm, you know, many five. Ma it was many lines, many, many lines of code, and I just, I don't know. I just did mess. I really did mess. I need to return this file back, the original one. Git status showing me this file modified. How can I return it back? Just this basically disregard all my changes. It's a very simple command. Git checkout and the name of the file. File two dot text. Updated one pass blah 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 does matter what's happening here get status you see no changes okay let me see nano file number two all good really yeah all good it just returned back nice cool so which will return it yeah fixed issue what if I mistakenly will remove file file number one for example I mistakenly remove it that's all it just file not exist get status ah delete it how can I return it but the so it's showing you changes from previous commit. This file deleted, but in previous commit, this file was exist. So it's easy to go back again, ch git, check out and name of the file, file one dot text. That's it. Yeah, you see file is here, git status, all clean. This is a simple way to restore a, a deleted file. So just the files which you just messed, you just you updated and just, oh my God, what I did, I just need to start from the beginning. Now we will show you something else. How we can compare what the, what are changes, what what modify it. So we here, let's go to file number two and let's make some modifications. Uh, I will remove this dot, put here um, by me. <laughs> yeah, I updated let's just you see simple updates. Saving. Git status. Something modified. How can I show what is exactly modified? It's easy. Just execute git diff. Show me the difference. And this is a difference. So difference is file number two. Something was removed, something was uh, added. So uh, here you see this line was removed. This line was added. This line was removed. This line was added. Yeah, it's not user friendly, not super just yeah, user friendly. But uh, in the when we will use GitHub and remote repository, it's so beautiful over there. You will see. Uh, but here it's showing. This is the CLI. This is how it's showing the differences. By the way, right now this file, file number two, is a uh, tracked. Let's create new file. Echo. Source of file three. File. 3.3.txt so we have right now a updates on file 2 and a new file here git status it will show this difference okay and what if i want to see the differences so git diff it will show me everything let's see no it just show me the difference in file number two what happened in file number three well you're not showing me because this file is not tracked yet by git it see this this is some new file but this file is not tracked so I can add this file, get add. I, I can add them too. Into the staging area basically right now. Get status. They both in the staging. And we'll execute right now git 
diff. Let me let me see what it it will show up. Nothing. Strange. Why nothing? Because git diff showing the difference between what last time was committed and the current changes, which is not staged yet. So here, look on it. Modify already tracked file. The status basically is tracked. Yeah, it's it's in database. We have if we execute git add, it's in staging. If we execute git commit, it's copy and local git push. So git diff showing difference between tracked files, which already in database, and last commit, last commit. This is the difference. If I want to see the difference between current staged file, this file is already staged and ready to commit to the last commit. So git diff dash dash stage. And here we will it, it will show us the full difference between the current files or cool changes ready for commit and the last commit. So my uh, changes in file two, two and also the new file three, which was this line. That's all. So basically git diff or git diff dash dash staged. So when we create new file, it's it's on tracked. When you when we execute git add, it's on staged. Git commit, it's uh, uh, committed in local repository. Git push copy and remote repository so basically git div dash dash stage showing difference between staged status and last commit and that's it for this tutorial yeah very simple git check out how to restore files git div and give div staged that's all see you in the next lecture bye bye